Hello, I'm Simply Dreaming, and today we'll be playing Romance of the Three Kingdoms, a total conversion mod for Crusader Kings 2. And it looks to be very, very fleshed out. This is going to be fun. Uh, the character I've chosen to play as is Colonel Lu Bei of the Lu Army. We've chosen the very first start date, February 184, Rise of the Yellow Turbans. I think we're just gonna like jump right into it. Rise of the Yellow Turbans. All across the Empire, peasants and disenfranchised officials have risen up against the Han Empire. They come adorned with yellow turbans around their heads, arms, and necks. The Empire has been thrown into crisis. As long as the yellow turbans exist, more and more people will use their cause as an excuse to rebel as well. If not extinguished quickly, this could very well spell the end of the Empire. Not good. And as you can see, this is definitely not good. Yeah, this looks like a mess already. All right, let's check out. Let's check out our. Let's check out uh, how we're doing. Okay. Looks like uh, our stats are definitely immaculate here. What are we? A gray eminence, inspiring leader, leads from the rear. This character prefers to lead from the back, so they can get a better overall picture of the battlefield and not risk harm to the to themselves. Okay, ten percent experimentality. Minus 10% morale damage, plus 10% defense. Uh, I don't know how much I actually like this. Experimentality can be pretty bad sometimes whenever you're trying to get specific, uh, specific formations in combat, like specific tactics, right? And that minus 10% morale damage, I don't think I like that either. Oh well, still a pretty decent trait though. Oh, we're a famed hero. This character is famous for being a representative of the people. Plus three diplomacy. Oh, plus 25 general opinion, that's nice. I'm destined. This character is destined for greatness. 10% fertility, 1.5 health, a bunch of monthly prestige and piety. I'll take that. Ooh, we're quick. This character is brighter than most. I'll take that as well. Year of the Ox. This character was born in the Year of the Ox. Hardy and powerful beasts of burden. Oxes are said to be patient, kind, and stubborn. Plus one learning. Okay. It's basically stubborn right there, except you get learning. Stewardship. I'll take that. Yeah, our, our traits are amazing here. Ambitious, temperate, diligent, patient, charitable, just, zealous. I'll take that. Ooh, it looks like we have an artifact as well. Ooh, Swords of Fate. A pair of double-bladed swords famously wielded by Lu Bei. Oh, is that true? Did he really have these? I might have to check that out. Plus two personal combat, plus one martial, and plus 0.5 monthly prestige. That's nice. Yeah, we're gaining a lot of prestige every month. Okay. Wow. 18 stewardship, not a single domain bonus. That might be intended though. What do we, what do we want here? Ambition? <laughs> no, yeah, we're we're zealous already. I think we do want to become a paragon of enlightenment. Actually, let's become exalted among men. We're already a famed hero, and we're destined. I think this is almost a guarantee to live forever in the annals of history. And for our focus, you know, it only makes sense to me to go for Marshall here. We're going to be using our characters as a leader. We're Colonel Lu Bei, we have to. It only seems right. And you know what? Before we continue, let's get married too. Wow. 
Okay, you know what? You see her, and you kind of have to go for it. Okay, wait. Whoa. It seems like every character in this game just has crazy traits. I like it. You know what, though? She was destined as well. I think we'll marry you. Lady Wang of you? Yeah. What could go wrong? Nothing like a destined, deceitful person. That's great. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, wait. Does she not have an education thing? It's kind of funny. And... Uh, let's... Where are commanders in, like... Okay, well, these guys are all good. You're very good. Famed duelist. Destined. Unyielding. You're strong and tall. Yeah, what the heck, guy? Got a serpent spear. A ten-foot-long spear. That just seems gigantic for some reason. Yeah, let's, let's have you be a general. And let's bring another... Well, what do we have already? 33? Okay, we have Guan Yu. We have freaking Guan Yu. Never mind. Never mind, we don't need anyone else. That's awesome. You have to have an artifact too, right? Oh yeah, Green Dragon. A legendary Guandao wielded by Guan Yu. Oh yeah. This is already looking fun. Freaking Guan Yu. I was not expecting him to be in here. Well, I mean, I figured he would be in here. I just didn't expect him to be one of my commanders. Okay, our military here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just raise you up. And let's hit play. We're already at war. I just want to raise my military just to have a little bit of safety. Okay, even more people jumped around. Okay, okay. I think we'll reinforce him. Yeah, because he'll be getting a bonus. We might be able to get there before he gets wiped out. Actually, they've got no morale. Maybe not. Oh, God. Such a huge war right at the beginning of the game. What about down here? I guess maybe I can't see. Well, yeah, I can. They're part of my realm. And we're going for Exalted Among Men. We're going to go for the Prestige. Okay. Point Counselor. Yeah, I'll be an advisor. Speed that up a little bit just to move faster. Ooh, doesn't look like we're gonna make it in time. Maybe? Just a little bit longer? And dang, we're already it's already too late, we're locked in. Be fine. Considering we've got Gu Guan Yu over here. Actually, where the hell's Guan Yu? Why would you give me the eight marshal? Maybe I forgot to put him on there. That's my bad. So excited for Guan Yu and we didn't even use him. Oh! Important decision. Duel? Challenge your opponent in the field to a duel? Or, uh, yeah, you know, screw it. Let's duel them. We have to, right? 18 personal combat skill. What about us? 32. Looks like we've got a good chance to win here. Okay. Oh, I'm wounded and I have a black eye. Worth it. 
Wow, we really do have a black eye. That's funny. This character looks like they have been in the fight. Yeah, it definitely does. I still think I think we're gonna win this. Yeah, we just crushed them. Looks like that bonus didn't really matter. That's kind of scary, especially when they get close to each to each other like that. Damn near 26,000 troops right there, and we don't have... Well, maybe if we could all combine... No, that's still not enough. Two, four, six, seven and a half. I don't know, about 9,000 troops here. 10,000 if you include me. They've got 8,000 more right there, yeah. Yes, he's, he's only just got 8,000 troops. I guess we'll try to siege this down. I can't help too much down there. Oh, it looks like their ruler is uh, in there. Okay. I feel like you're not really worthy to be my rival, are you? Okay. You know what? I'm already wounded. Do I want to duel him? No. Actually, yeah, no, because that's taken off a bunch of personal combat skill. So is that. Recruit a court position? Uh, yeah, I think we will. Perfect. You know what, let's give up, let's give some of these minor titles here. A regent? Guan Yu. Duh. Court music, musician. Uh, screw it, we'll put you there. Our champion? The champion of the realm? Court tutor. Yeah, you'd be a pretty good one. Make my wife my bodyguard. Wait, that's not my wife. I don't know what I was thinking just now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, don't be my bodyguard. I don't want a tea master as my bodyguard. Oh yeah, let's put Guan Yu in here. You're my administrator. We want you to be in the army, buddy. Put you there. Put you here. And I guess I'll put myself over here. Duel the enemy? No. Too weak for that. Although I would definitely like to. I want to take the risk. No. I forgot that almost every character in this game is fucking insane. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. What? Immortal wizard? Year of the monkey? Interesting. I want to be an immortal wizard. 
Anyway. Uh, join court. Yes. Yeah, we just want the highest learning. Yeah, I'll take you. You're a genius? Speed this up for the siege. Uh. I think since we're defenders, we don't have a limit on war score we can gain from battles, right? Yeah, normally it would say. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy. guy arrives, let's uh, make him the court position. There we go. Oh, that's too bad he's no longer leading his own army. I wanted to try and take hold of him. Man, this is not looking good for us. I think what I'll do is put my army in such a way that I can reinforce battles like this, where I can turn the tide, or where I can attempt to turn the tide. This is such a bad spot to be in. We need to get over here. I'm kind of too scared to go any other way. There's that stack of 26,000 coming up here. Oh, you're my kinsman? Oh no. This is just getting worse and worse. Rise of the, the Liang Rebellion. Local Liang provincial leaders have taken advantage of the of the Piang and Di raids to start a major rebellion. This rebellion threatens to sweep away all of Liang away from the Emperor's clutches. <laughs> Not good. Also, I'm very sorry for my mispronunciations of some of these names. Just bear with me here. Oh god, where's my army? Yeah. Okay. So, where are you going to?
And who? Dude, why would why would I uh why would the war start right there? Get it. Why would I be at war? There's no one else walking there. See if we can catch these guys in a battle. Never mind. Oh, we're out of time here, guys. So I think we'll end it. We'll continue this war next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.